From the moment she left a high-profile job at the United Nations to enter Dutch politics, Finance Minister Sigrid Kaag has faced intimidation, insults and death threats. After a man showed up at her house with a burning torch and her family started to fear for her life, she decided to quit politics. It's become very unsafe and it is something that also according to university studies, scientific studies, is underpinning an attitude towards uh, progressive leaders, particularly women. Overall, it is physically unsafe uh, and it actually erodes ultimately the quality of our democracy and the rule of law. Resigning after 13 years in office, Prime Minister Mark Rutte leaves behind a legacy of economic prosperity, but also of historic low trust in politicians. Rutte has been tainted by several scandals. His last government collapsed after failing to reach a deal to curb migration. His possible successor, Dylan Yazilgas, a former refugee, is campaigning on stricter migration policies. Too many people are coming to the Netherlands. Uh, so that amount, we have to lower that amount. Um, uh, and that's a, a very big task for, the, for politics. Policies the anti-immigration party of Geert Wilders has long advocated. The latest polls put his Freedom Party in the lead closely followed by Yazilgis conservative liberals and the Labour Green coalition headed by former European Commissioner Frans Timmermans. Internationally this election will be closely watched with a possible victory for the far right and new faces determining the Netherlands political future. Step fast on Al Jazeera, The Hague. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.